Hi, everybody. This is the Daily Weather Hazard Briefing from the National Weather Service Office here in Pocatello, Idaho for Monday, January 29th. Should be a pretty quick one as we've got high pressure building in over the area, and that's going to keep our weather fairly quiet over the next couple of days. We're just going to keep watching basically for some more of that patchy, dense fog out there that we've got this morning and probably for the next couple of mornings. Uh, but overall, dry and warm for us for the next couple of days. So we'll show you the satellite imagery here early this morning in just about a slide or so um, to kind of show you where some of that is this morning. But again, high pressure is going to continue to strengthen over the area throughout the day today and uh, tomorrow. In fact, a lot of us are going to be back into the 40s once again today, maybe even pushing some low 50s again. Um, but all this is going to start to change as we get into the second half of the week with our next system arriving on Thursday. So here's a look at satellite early this morning. You can see in the uh, eastern half of, well, most of actually eastern Idaho, um, where we've got kind of that mix of, once again, low stratus and uh, some fog out there. So keep in mind, um, you know, it's not necessarily widespread, but you do run into a couple of those pockets of some fairly dense fog. Visibility drops quickly down below a half a mile and some spots down close to almost a tenth of a mile in a few. Um, but this fog really has... Uh, been proving that the atmosphere is a fluid this morning, a lot of ebb and flow with it. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're out driving early this morning for that Monday morning commute. If you run into that, visibility will drop quickly. Our weather risk outlook grid for the next couple of days, you can see not a whole lot going on aside from some of that patchy fog over the next couple of mornings especially, and then of course then late in the evening it'll start to roll back in but once we get into thursday and friday we start to see at least potentially some minor impacts uh, with that next system moving in from west to east um, you'll start to see some of those first impacts in uh, parts of the uh, wood river area and into the central mountains and then that will spread a little bit farther eastward then as we get into friday and bring a little bit more of those minor impacts to at least a few more of us um, at least at the start of things, kind of a rain-snow mix for a lot of us, again, except for the higher elevations. But uh, by the time we get to about Saturday, we'll still be seeing some of that moisture come through, but temperatures will be dropping by that point, too. So as we get into the weekend, um, more so uh, snow for most of us than that rain-snow mix. But that's still a few days out, so we'll keep an eye on how things evolve here for the next few days. High temperatures today, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of us can be back into the 40s. Wouldn't be surprised to see a few more low 50s. Uh, keep in mind, Pocatello, our record high for today is 51. I think we'll be awfully close to it. As far as uh, any wind really today, not a whole lot to speak of. You know, maybe some gusts in the uh, Magic Valley get closer to about 20 miles per hour, but certainly not too impactful there. So we get into Tuesday, basically a repeat of what we're expecting today. Uh, temperatures in the morning start off in those mid and upper 20s, low 30s. And we'll push back into the 40s once again for the afternoon. Probably a few low 50s. So we get into Wednesday, well, probably warm up a couple degrees. So in fact, some of these temperatures we may need to bump up over the next couple of days um, with this kind of uh, warm trend continuing with that high pressure overhead. So in summary, again, fairly quiet weather, at least warm and dry for us for the next few days. But we will still have some of those pockets of some dense fog around for the next uh, couple uh, overnights into early mornings. So keep that in mind for those uh, morning commutes. As far as uh, things go, our next system will be arriving, bringing some impacts with it as we get into Thursday. And that's just going to be the start of a few more waves of moisture headed our way. Uh, through next weekend and into the following week. Hope you have a great day. Of course, you can always find us on social media. It's a good way to connect with us. You can always find our latest forecast information online. Give us a phone call or send us an email.